a beautiful morning in Cannes and where better to be having breakfast than on the European yacht of the year, the Oyster 625. And we're with the lovely Jean-Pierre, the project manager. Tell us a little bit why this is award winning. Well, we, um, we, we had to replace uh, two very, very famous models in the range, which were the Oyster 56 and the Oyster 62. And it was probably one of the toughest challenge because these models were so successful we knew we had to deliver at the highest level. It came with a, a very comfortable, very comfortable deck layout. As you can see, we are we are very comfortably sitting here. Yes, we are. But we still have <laughs> we are, yeah, very much. I feel like and I'm matching the exactly, interior. Exactly. We still have a nice passage from the aft deck to the center cockpit to the inside. We have very little height in all those different steps, so young and old can walk very safe on this deck. And uh, of course the Bimini, especially in the Mediterranean or uh, Caribbean uh, or in the Caribbeans, provide us with fantastic shade, which is all what we need. Mm. We also have side flaps for the afternoon when the sun sets a bit lower. That's also very important to be protected from the sun. Um, but the fact that we can sit with six or eight people here without disturbing the sailing activity, we can still have the skipper doing his work on those steering pedestals there controlling all the sails and all the, all the technical things. Um, next time, really comfortable mm -hmm. uh, for a lifetime cruising in family or in charter mode. Uh, you may actually have seen from where you, from where, from where you stand that we have uh, the same sort of um, pleasure area in front of the deck. And what we've managed to do there is to create uh, a sunbathing uh, space which is still protected. Many boats nowadays are completely flush forward of the mast, which might look uh, attractive, but there is no holding. So once mm -hmm. you're at sea, people are really exposed to the elements. We have managed to create a bathing area, but we'll, with plenty of handholds. Yeah. So we can lie there, but at sea, we can still use it as a proper sea-going vessel. That's and really the difficulty is actually to produce an elegant yacht, which is pleasant at anchor or in casual sailing, but which remains a truly sea going yacht. Mm. And that is what Oyster Marine is all about. You know, there's such lovely finishings and what type of wood do you use? So uh, on the outside, we always use stick purely because that is um, the most uh, durable timber mm. in the marine environment. Uh, the table, we tend to have it varnished, eight layers of varnish, purely because it is easier to maintain, easier mm -hmm. to clean, easier to wipe clean. Um, the timber is always, uh, we always use teak from sustainable sources, uh, so this is um, teak as well on the, on the deck. And uh, on the inside we offer more choices. We have four different types of timbers. We have American white oak, we have maple, we have cherry and we have teak as well. Uh, we have a, an annual one in the Caribbean. Um, we have also an annual one in the Mediterranean. Um, every two years we have one in the UK, but the, the top of the top is what is going to happen this uh, coming February 2013 and it's going to coincide with your Oyster's 40th uh, birthday. Okay. Um, we are going to have the Oyster around the world. It is, it is quite scary. Um, nobody has ever done that before. Uh, uh, never has one brand managed to organize something like that.